so now let's get started with inertia js now what is inertia js and why we need it so basically we have a um, simple front end application then we will have a back end application if you want to connect the front end the back end you need to create api on the back end and then from the front end you need to request for that api if you want to do something but what if i tell you that you don't have to create any api but still you can use the front end frameworks like react vue svelte and obviously the back end frameworks like laravel ruby on rails uh, Django, a lot of amazing things. You don't have to set up both differently. You don't need two different repositories. You just need one repository of your backend application and then install the inertia JS, set it up, and then you are really, really doing no API, but still your front end and back end are connected. Sounds really interesting and really like magical thing we are going to see so here is a really a nice example so in laravel if you want to use vue.js you can use something like this but if you want to get the data from the laravel then you need to create an api and hit the api from ajax or fetch but with the inertia js you don't have to do anything you just need to actually use the inertia render for the view component name and laravel the back end will take care of passing out the data to the view component loading the view component everything because we are going to use the inertia js i am really really excited for this and i just want to start with setting up the inertia js on a fresh new laravel application so let's go here and here i have a fresh new laravel 10 installation so if i can show you here we can go localhost 8000 again our favorite and boom we are here but we need to set up the inertia j how we do that first we can scroll down and here we have a server side installation since inertia take care of of the front end and the back end it's kind of a glue it's kind of a chain which connect the front end and the back end so you need the two setup the first is the server side setup now once you are here on the server side setup what you have to do you just need to require this composer package which is inertia laravel so go here and i'm going to kill this and run it so while this is installing let's move to the next thing then it says that once you are done with this package then you need to set up a file where you have you need to have this white app.js then inertia head or inertia inside the body so what i will do i will copy everything from here then i will go on open the sidebar go to the resources js views and I'm going to create a new file app.blade.php and now it's very important to name this as the app.blade and I will show you why but for now yeah we have created it so paste the data and that's it here what we have we have the white resource js uh, app.js so what this will do this will actually link up our app.js file so with this we need the inertia head which is obviously some inertia js stylings or related things then we have inertia initialization this is actually doing one very simple thing it's creating a div with the id of app and inside this div all our view component will load so inertia has given this helper which is at the rate inertia so we don't have to write these things so this is very simple and basic html markup and that's it so what next after this it says that you need to create a inertia middleware and remember here it's given that by default the laravel adapter assumed that you have app.play.php 
PHP, not any other name. Okay, so let's create the middleware. And here we are. Now it has created middleware, but it says that you need to add this middleware to your web array of the kernel file. So let's copy this in a share middleware path. Open the app, HTTP kernel, scroll down to the web array, and here at the last just paste it. That's done. But let's understand what this middleware says. This middleware basically says that hey, it's looking first for a app.blade.php, which is root view, which we had created. And that's the reason I told you that we need to name it app.blade. If you want to name it anything else, obviously you can change from here. But then it says some versioning thing and sharing things. So we will understand this share later. But basically, this inertia middleware, which is handle inertia request, extends a middleware which is the real inertia middleware, which is inside the inertia package vendor inertia JS inertia Laravel. Okay. Now, what this inertia middleware says that it's obviously defining some of the function, but it has the root view, the handling, how it handles the, the view components. So basically, it check for x inertia header. If the request include x inertia header, it will return the view file, the view JS file instead of a blade file. So we will understand it better later. But for now, it says that everything is done. You can start creating the response using inertia render. Okay, so let's go on the web.php, which is inside the route web.php. I will clear this comments. And now here, I'm going to create a route called test and with a closure here, I'm going to return inertia render and rendering a file called test. Now you will say that, hey, we don't have any test file. Yes, and that's what I want to see. What if we don't have any file and what if the test route is there? What will be the result? So let's go here and we need to start our server. So PHP Artisan serve, which is now running. So go here and say slash test. While we are here, let's enter. And now it says that white manifest not found. Basically, it says that, hey, yes, everything is good, but I can't find white related things. Hmm, we need to work on setting up the client side thing.